So I got to a lighthouse. I just took a picture of it. So you already know I'm obsessed with lighthouses. So there's that. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and do a beach day. I'm going to chill at the beach, got my bathing suit on. I'm going to chill. Hopefully it doesn't rain. And then after that, I'm going to go further north and slowly make my way to my next destination. Um, I'll probably eat lunch probably around 1, I think. Um, cause it's only, it's not even 11 yet. Um, but I had to get out of my Airbnb by 11. So I got all the things I need. I got some water. I got some beach towels, got some more Kleenexes. Good to go. video it because I was talking to my parents like the whole entire time was there. But, um, the surfers were surfing. It was kind of um, But yeah, so that's a little bit of what I got going on. I'm in my third destination right now. I'm trying to keep quiet just because, yeah, it's kind of chilled here, kind of chill vibes. And um, long story less long, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get, go to a coffee place until I get to San Juan. And I don't even know if they have anything in San Juan um, to bring coffee back from. So um, because getting here is, it was a lot. <laughs> I'm in the middle of the mountains and yeah i'm not leaving here until it's time to go and also too it's a very zen chill place there's places to hike and within this resort um retreat center place there are so there's a couple hiking trails here there's also um a, a pool but the pool is like um spring fed water within the pool and it's 
it's zen. It's zen out. So I think we're back to zen mode. So we go from zen mode to do a lot of stuff, travel and have fun mode and hike and adventure back to zen mode. So that's what we're doing to, um, for the next couple days. Um, and even this resort also has food. They have like brunch and um, dinner here that you can just this kind of like the brunch is part of the gig part of the part of things and same thing with snacks it's also you can add that to like your dinner tab because the dinner tab and then the um, um, snacks that you have to pay for and then there's yoga here and then if I want to do massage which I might actually do a massage we can do that but I need to just schedule it in advance like in advance advance so I'm thinking I might try to schedule it. Um, I guess schedule it within 24 hours in advance. So if I schedule anything, I'll schedule it for um, Sunday morning. Not sure if I'm gonna do that though. So we'll see. Um, but anyway. I kind of don't want to do that. And the only reason why I'm thinking that I don't want to do that is because I think I am going to take a ferry. I think I'm going to do snorkeling when I'm in um, San Juan. I'm like almost positive I'm going to do that. But anyway, let me show you around the room though and show you what, what we got going on here because it's dope. Well, I mean it's dope. It is dope. I'm so happy. I only thing that I will say is I kind of wish I was here with someone else. Like not... I'm not thinking for X or anything like that, but you know what I mean? Like, it definitely would be very romantic to be here with someone. Like, it's definitely significant other vibes if you get if you get my drift. Like, this is a type of atmosphere I want to get popping. Just saying, show you what we got going on. Actually, all the places I've stayed at has kind of been like that, but this place especially, I'm just like, yes. So, this is my room. And then the fan is like a nice bamboo fan. And it's like I'm like in the middle of the woods. That's pretty much what it is. Like, because I kind of am in the middle of the woods. It's freaking dope. So for me, this is the kind of glamping I like. I like to camp, but a little bit with, with a little smudge of luxury. And this is the type of thing I like to do. We don't need a tent. We got this. Just a thought. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, that's kind of what this is, what this is about. Um, I'll probably take you with me when I hike. Pretty sure I'm going to do that. I don't know if I'm going to do the river hike because I'm required to tell them if I'm doing the river hike, which kind of gave me a little bit of a worry thing because I'm by myself. Um, that's why they asked. Um, but the other hike is safe to just do alone because I think it's still within the property type thing. And the river hike, she says it was safe, but I was just like, I need to let them know, though, just because they don't want me to just, like, be gone on <laughs> out of nowhere. Um, yeah, just safety purposes. Um, anyway, um, you probably can tell I feel so much better. Like, um, <clears throat> I haven't really been coughing up or anything like that. I um, haven't taken any cough drops. Um yeah I'm pretty much kind of back to normal so what the plan is I'm gonna get changed real quick because dinner's at six and I already booked the reservation so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for that I'm at my bikini on underneath this and then from there I'll probably go swimming um yeah that's the game plan that is the game plan um yeah, if you notice, this is a pretty much gone. I just got to put, so tonight I'll just have to put like the toothpaste here and here because that's still not looking the way I want it to look because um, I want that, I don't want blemish to be there. So um, anyway, that pretty much is what we got going on. I wanted to kind of show how it took for me to get here, but it was not safe because it was a lot of windy roads. But the what was cool about the roads though is that a lot of them were covered in bamboo which is good because it was raining on and off this whole entire day um, as I was traveling, just because I guess that's, pardon me, I guess that's how islands work. It could be raining in one part and other part's not raining at all. It's really odd. Um, 
I guess I didn't know that was a thing. But yeah, so because of that, I was trying to, I, I had to focus. I could not, I had to, both my hands were on the wheel the whole entire time. Cause it was a lot, like I said, it was a lot to get here. Um, let me give you, let me paint a picture for nine miles. That took about, I think 30 to 45 minutes to get here from that. So about the same pace, me running my faster, well, no, someone else running a fast, like 9K, I mean 15K. Yeah. Yeah. The roads are, <laughs> it's a thing. Um, they're, they're paved for the most part. It's just the, um, it's a lot of windiness and they're very narrow. So you have to kind of watch how you drive and all that. Um, I didn't have a problem with it because I had the warm up on day one, thank God. So I'm kind of glad day one happened because it kind of got, got me prepared on how to drive here. But it is not the easiest drive. So if you're not a decent driver, I don't know how you're going to get here. You might have to like get someone else to drive you here or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm going to get going. I need to relax. And also, too, I have something in my hand with food, and I'm not supposed to keep the food in the room, just because this is definitely, like, open air. Like, I'm literally kind of, in, like, I'm kind of, like, in a treehouse, giving treehouse vibes, which is something I've always wanted to do. It's kind of a random bucket list of mine. I've always kind of wanted to stay somewhere that was kind of a treehouse, but it wasn't really a treehouse, because I'm, like, an adult child. I'm checking all the boxes on this trip. Well, a lot of the boxes. Anyway, fine. Oh, 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 oh,